Rich Bisashia scouted kicker Braden Narvison during the offseason and other key takeaways from Packers coordinators. On Thursday, all three of the Green Bay Packers coordinators spoke to the media, offering insights into the team's roster and preparations for the regular season opener in Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles. Here are four significant takeaways from their discussions. Rich Bisashia's evaluation of Braden Narvison asterisk. During the offseason, the Packers were actively searching for a kicker to challenge Anders Carlson. Special teams coordinator Rich Bisashia had his eye on Braden Narvison, having thoroughly evaluated him during his time at North Carolina State. Bisashia's interest in Narvison led the Packers to release Carlson this week as they trimmed their roster to 53 players. Subsequently, the team claimed Narvison off waivers after he was cut by the Tennessee Titans, resulting in the release of Greg Joseph, their other kicker. Narvison, who has also kicked at Iowa State and Western Kentucky, stands out with his solid build at 6-0 and 215 pounds. Bisashia shared that they conducted an in-depth analysis of Narvison during his time at NC State because they were impressed by his potential. Despite his journey through multiple colleges, including Western Kentucky, where they reviewed his performance, Bisashia noted that Narvison has a strong physique and delivered an impressive preseason performance with Tennessee. The Packers had been monitoring Narvison, along with other potential candidates, throughout the preseason and invested considerable effort into assessing his abilities. Bisashia also reflected on the performance of Carlson and Joseph, who had ample opportunities during training camp to showcase their consistency, each making over 70 kicks. Bisashia played a significant role in the Packers' decision to draft Carlson in the sixth round last year, having previously coached Carlson's brother, Daniel, an all-pro kicker with the Las Vegas Raiders in 2022. Despite Carlson's progress, Bisashia acknowledged that neither kicker reached the level of consistency the team was seeking at this point. However, he expressed confidence that both Carlson and Joseph would have future opportunities in the league, believing it's only a matter of time before they find their footing elsewhere. Fast-tracking Malik Willis asterisk. The Packers face a pressing challenge in preparing their newly acquired backup quarterback, Malik Willis, to step into the number two role early in the season. This week, the Packers traded a seventh-round draft pick to acquire Willis and released their two previous backups, Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt. However, Clifford was re-signed to the practice squad, giving the Packers the option to elevate him for next week's opener if they feel Willis isn't ready to take the field. Offensive coordinator Adam Stenovich emphasized that the coaching staff has been putting in extra time with Willis to accelerate his understanding of the playbook. They're focusing on what he can handle, his preferences, and familiar plays as a starting point, rather than overwhelming him with the entire playbook right away. Stenovich noted that they've been building Willis's confidence by identifying plays he's comfortable with, allowing them to gradually expand his responsibilities as the season progresses. Stenovich also shared that he reviewed footage of Willis before the trade was finalized and was impressed by his athleticism and playmaking ability. Willis's potential to create opportunities on the field makes him an exciting addition to the Packers roster, and the coaching staff is eager to work with him. Jeff Halfley's approach to play calling asterisk. New defensive coordinator Jeff Halfley revealed that he plans to call plays from the coach's box, a strategy he employed during the preseason. This will be Halfley's first time calling plays in the NFL, having previously served as the head coach at Boston College for the past four seasons. Halfley explained that the coach's box provides a calm and quiet environment, allowing him to focus on strategizing without the emotional intensity of being on the field. While he acknowledged the benefits of being on the sidelines, such as engaging directly with players and motivating them, he believes that the coach's box offers a better vantage point for setting up plays, reviewing notes, and analyzing the game in real time. This approach enables him to prepare for the next series, assess what's working or not, and adjust the game plan accordingly. With his play-calling debut in the NFL approaching, Halfley is committed to working hard until kickoff. He plans to rely on his preparation, calling plays decisively and ensuring that the defense plays fast and physical. Halfley intends to communicate quickly with linebacker Quay Walker, helping the defense line up effectively against the opposing offense. Challenges of the Eagles Tush Push Play Asterisk Halfley also addressed one of the key challenges his defense will face in the season opener, the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback push play, a tactic that proved highly effective last season. The Eagles reportedly converted 37 of 40 quarterback push plays, achieving a remarkable 92.5% success rate. 
Halfley acknowledged the difficulty of defending against this play, noting that the Eagles have mastered it better than any other team. He mentioned that while some teams have had limited success in stopping it, the best strategy is to prevent the Eagles from getting into situations where they only need a yard. With the retirement of Eagles center Jason Kelsey, a key player in executing the push play, Halfley expressed hope that this might impact the play's effectiveness. Nonetheless, he recognized Kelsey's exceptional talent and the challenge that still lies ahead for the Packers' defense. Additions to the practice squad asterisk. Lastly, the Packers announced the addition of two players to their practice squad, linebacker Chris Russell and safety Omar Brown. Russell, a rookie from Texas A&M, had participated in the Packers' rookie minicamp as a tryout player and spent part of the training camp with the team. Brown, an undrafted rookie from Nebraska, was recently cut by the Denver Broncos. Both players will have the opportunity to develop and potentially contribute to the Packers' roster as the season progresses.